Hello, here's a trick to change the texture of tofu. Start off with any type of uh, tofu. This happens to be firm, but we just open it up, container like such. Get rid of the fluid on the other, over here by the sink. Now we have a nice slab of tofu. It's simple, is sliding it, knife right down the side of it like this and then dividing it up. Now, I like fairly big chunks because it makes it easy to sear in a pan and such, but you can cut them up small if you want to. And the next step is put them in a small container. You can also use sandwich bags if you choose to, but uh, I tend to use these because they're stackable on top of each other in the freezer and it makes it more convenient to get them out of the way. So I'll just give you an idea of the texture that's it right now. Is let me go ahead and squeeze a little piece right here and give you an idea. You can see this divides it up just like that. Okay. So let's take a look what it looks like after it's frozen. So here we are with it frozen. Changes the color a little bit. It's rock hard. And the reason why we're freezing this is that the water inside is going to expand causing all the tofu to get denser and it stays that way. Now these usually don't pop up real easy. I'm going to have to put a little water on the outside like this. And then just basically pops right out. You can see how it forced the water out of the tofu. You can break some of this off but it, I'm going to show you just the step I take it makes it a lot easier. A lot of times if I'm just cooking something in a rice cooker, I'll just throw that inside of it. But usually if I'm frying something up, I want this to be defrosted first, either by letting it sit for a couple hours or I'll go ahead and throw it in a microwave. So here's a microwave set bowl and I will uh, bring this back when it's done. I usually put it in for about two to three minutes. Okay, it's done now. Now, you can see it's still sitting in some water, and also there's still some water inside the tofu itself. So what I do is I take a small bowl such as this, place it on top of it, and push down on it and let it drain. And I'll let you see how I do that. I have a sink that's right next door here. So, let's press down on it and let it just drain out like this. And this gets all that excess water of the tofu, tofu, which makes it easier when frying too because then you don't have the water splattering. Okay, so now we have this uh, drier and uh, e dewaterated uh, tofu. So let's take a piece of tofu like this and using the fork, you can see it doesn't squish down anymore. This is a lot tougher and chewier and it gives a lot more texture that most people that uh, don't like the texture of tofu uh, but you're quite surprised that this is really tofu. So if you have any questions how this is done, put it in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe and share this video to help disabled animals with donated wheelchairs.